Alrighty then, you have started a meeting in Teams, you've recorded that meeting, and after waiting for a while, you will see that that meeting recording has been posted to your team. So I am logged into Office uh, 365, I'm in the Teams app, and I'm in my Teams panel. I'm gonna click on my Class Piano 4, where I recorded that demo presentation. And you will see here is that meeting that we just recorded. Students can see it in the stream and they can click on it and play it. Let's watch it now. Idiot. Oh, wait just a minute. Well, I'm recording. Let everyone know that they're being recorded. So you just got to say, hey, everybody, we're recording this so people who aren't here can watch it later. And I'll go ahead and dismiss that. Um, and we've got the same kind of rows of buttons that we saw. In now, the it does a little, something a little funky webcam. here. You can turn the webcam off. We can mute our microphone if we need to. And then this is the important one. This is the one I want to show you right now. Share. So it had to catch up to sync to we the audio. To share my computer screen, specifically my PowerPoint window. So okay, so I want you to watch this. Share. This is what the students actually and see I when you've shared your PowerPoint share. now, uh, you over... Say you can uh, Microsoft share Teams files or browse for files and a whiteboard and some other things, but I just want to do a screen share. And what I want to share is not my entire screen, but a specific application window. In this case, this PowerPoint that I just opened, and I will share that now. It tells me that okay, so they're actually the seeing great. Now, the full the, window. And watch window. when we go full screen. You can run the slideshow in full screen mode and it will continue to capture it okay so i can talk over this okay so that is the recording of that meeting that students can watch now you can see you're talking over the powerpoint uh and it's animating so that might even be a pretty good solution for you to just do a screen capture talk over presentation Run a meeting. If people join or not, just go ahead and do that presentation, and it will record it and save it there. Now, we can um, then use those videos in other places. I want to show you this thing right here. You see this kind of paper airplane thing? This is View in Microsoft Stream. I'm going to go ahead and click that icon, and it's going to shoot me into the Microsoft Stream app. Okay, here we go. We are in the Microsoft Stream app, and here is that same Idiot. meeting again. We're going to... Sh now, what we want to do here is we want to enable the closed captioning. To do that, we have to edit the details of this video to tell Microsoft Stream what language we are speaking in. It's smart, but it ain't that smart. So here's what you do. From stream, you can't do this in Teams. You have to follow the video into stream. Um, and let me show you how I did that again. I did that by watching the meeting and clicking this open in stream button in the playback window. So here we are. What we want to do is in this details panel, we're going to go to this three dots, this more actions option. And what we're going to do is we're going to update the video details. And when we do that, we have the option here to select a video language. Now, if you look over here, you'll see that it's not auto-generating the files and I can't select it. But when I choose English, it will auto-generate a caption file. It takes it a little bit of time to do that, but after you go ahead and apply that, it will get to work on captioning your video. Now, let me show you one that I've all already captioned. So this is a 53-second meeting, and you can see over here it's got the uh, transcript. Okay, I am recording. Let over here. Let's try that. And you can read it. Share. If I were to full screen this video, and have my closed captions on, a screen. They appear. I'm going to share an application window. Right there. Assessment report. Okay. Now you'll notice that the closed captioning got some of it wrong. You can edit the captions. Go to this pencil icon. It's not a QP assessment, it is a 
QEP assessment and save that. Share an application window. Um, assessment this report. is also pretty cool. Let me search the transcript for webcam. And I can jump to that spot yeah, in the video. Stop sharing. Snazzy, huh? To the uh, there's another couple that were wrong. I know that there was... Captures the... Okay, when I said it captures the anime shuns, where's that? Was it 22 seconds? Ah, right there. Captures the animations. No, it captures the animations. So if you want to go back and make any corrections, captures you can do that. Animations. And then when you're done I'm, with those edits, doing a very click this uh, check mark button. Assessment report. Hmm. It should. I don't know why it's not doing that. You should. I've done this before. You click the check mark and it accepts your edits. Okay. Review. This was the one. This one. This is the one we just did. To enable anim uh, the captioning, uh, closed captioning. Three dots, more actions, update video details, and select the language. Alrighty then. That is how you uh, animate. I, sorry, guys. It's late in the day. That's how you do the closed captioning for those recorded videos. Okay. Um, I believe. Uh, let me see. Let's go in here. Pause. Pause. Go to stream. If you wanted to, I think no, wait just a minute. Well, you can download it. Share. No, close. Hmm. Download video. Why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you want to download that video and then put it in YouTube so you can put it on your Canvas course. That's if you're doing like a... Uh, a presentation of a PowerPoint that you're just recording as a matter of convenience through meetings. It, it's an option and it can go a little bit longer and you doesn't have to be a PowerPoint. You could demonstrate from Excel. You could demonstrate from Word. You could demonstrate from GIS on the web. You can do all of that stuff. So uh, that is uh, what you can do with a meeting after it's recorded and available in Teams. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'm supposed to have a meeting with students in a little bit. I'll try to capture that and see what happens. See you then.